Rotational mechanical systems are very similar to the translational mechanical systems we've already dealt with. The only difference is in how we draw the elements, and there's slightly different names for the, uh, the, the different elements themselves. And the first one of interest is the rotational damper. And the symbol that we use for this is what we call drag cup damper. You can think of it as two cups, one inside the other, with some viscous fluid between them and a rotational damping B, similar to the translational damping that we've already dealt with. Acting on this damper are equal and opposite torques, which we'll label T, which are defined following the right-hand rule. And here, I'm going to also define some angular displacements, omega 1 and omega 2. This is the Greek letter omega for uh, the two sides. Notice that the two angular velocities, omega 1 and omega 2, I've drawn as these curved arrows. These displacements are uh, meant to be defined in the same direction as our leftmost torque. So if you take your right hand and put your thumb in the direction of this arrow, the idea, uh, the way you should examine uh, these arrows, the curved arrows, is as if your fingers were curling out of the page and towards you. And the uh, element law for this is just T is equal to B times omega 1 minus omega 2, where omega and 1 and 2 are defined in the same direction, in the same direction as the torque on the left-hand side. The next element of interest is the rotational spring. And the way we're going to draw this is also slightly different from, different from the translational spring. We're going to just draw this as a coil, which of course can also be used for a, um, a translational spring. And then we have a torsional spring constant, K. Again, there are torques acting on this, which I'll label as T, and I'll follow the right-hand rule, theta 1 and theta 2. Again, our fingers are curling out of the page here with our thumb pointed to the right to follow the, uh, the torque on the left. And here we, again, want to write the torque as equal to rotational constant K times theta 1 minus theta 2. Finally, we have the rotational inertia, and in this case, uh, we often like to draw it as just an inertial mass, uh, rotational moment of inertia J. It will have uh, torques acting on it and have an angular velocity, omega, uh, just omega for this, and we're going to use Euler's equation instead of Newton's law. It's just the rotational analog to Newton's law. And it says that the sum of the forces, or sorry, the sum of the torques is equal to the uh, inertia, the rotational inertia multiplied by the rotational acceleration. And we want to talk about these torques defined in the direction. So we want both the torques and the acceleration to be defined in the same direction. So the way we would write this one is sum of torques is equal to J times omega dot, which is our angular acceleration.